Welcome back to Freak Out Extreme Free Ride. I'm in Cedic. With me once again is Blank Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? But we are on the same track now, uh. Yeah, momentarily. So yes, we are heading to Mountain Range 2, Mount Blanca. I know I said Bianca, but Blanca. And uh, Area 1 on that mountain, Death Valley. Whoa. Death Valley. What if it snowed in Death Valley? Unlikely. <laughs> Very. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but what if? We got another three feet smaller song? Yeah, yeah, one of the three feet smaller songs. Uh. See? You know, yeah, your fuck face. Fuck face, yeah, like it's got the swears in it. I I know I was kind of talking about that last time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of digging the song. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, then I don't have to turn it down so much because we're in the same room. Well, I mean, just, you know, so that... I'm not, I'm not yelling really loud because the song is loud in my ear. Yeah. All right. So we, need to turn it down again. we get up through that whole mountain range preview and then kind of for some reason it oddly turns over and starts showing something else off, which okay. is kind of weird, but yeah. here's Death Valley starting off with some jumps, some leaps. Once again, it wants 20,000. I'll say that, you know, like if you want to pass a certain jump challenge then you know avoid doing too many tricks before it so you avoid the repetition issue uh, yeah and then you can comfortably do like a back you know triple back flip or triple front flip with your special grab and usually pass so yeah, like you're... if you save doing that for then because even then repetitive like i said literally three grab buttons Grab skis, cross skis, and special trick. And I, no one's called me out on it yet, but every character is also different in, like, their animations for the tricks. They do okay. have different tricks, but they all have the same amount. And I don't believe any character's tricks are more points than any other characters. Okay. But, like, this guy is all about the Cossack grab, Cossack flip, stuff like that. Oh. It just so happens to be... Um, but you're seeing so many jump challenges in one area that it's impossible to get them all in one run. So you will need to send sometimes impossible to get them. Do you think that's... <laughs> not, uh, not impossible to get them. But. Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, well, it certainly means you need to head back, you know, several runs to the same location. Yeah. On one hand, it's kind of like, whoa, they have 40 jump challenges? That's cool. And then you discover that... Ten of them are within the same, like, five seconds of area. Oh. So, I, I mean, you know, they... They... They crammed a lot of jump challenges. They were looking for opportunities. Yeah. You know, they weren't light on opportunities. And I think it's better overall to have more challenges in an area than just have long stretches of nothing. That's true. Mm -hmm. Even if you do need to ride all the way back down to focus on a certain jump challenge because you have to, you, you know, you were previously doing the two next to them. Yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I think it, it's not so much a matter of, is this good design or bad design? It's more a, is this game fun or not? And if the gameplay's fun to you, yeah. then you're going to enjoy going back into this level and hitting different jump challenges that you didn't hit before. Right. I would say that a lot of those jumps when you get down near the end of the mountain, as you saw, we're on pretty small jumps. So yeah, it seemed like with those, a lot of the time I did need to save a simple backflip plus grab to be able to do so that I didn't have to try and do like a backflip spin barrel roll and risk getting my points cut in half and then cut in half again. Yeah. But yeah. Here's a so what are, challenge. What are the weakest challenges in this game? Ah, uh, they're always the rail challenges. The rail ones, okay. They're always the rail challenges because sometimes, like like I said, the rail challenges are either so easy a baby could do it, mm -hmm. or you have to grind like five things in a row and every transfer is based off like a very specific momentum, amount of momentum. Because uh, like I said, you can speed up or slow down on rails. You can jump early off rails and... And the angle you come off is dependent on your momentum. Right. right. Like, it, it's not really like... I don't know where in the character's animation of, of tipping to the left or tipping to the right it goes from still jumping straight forward to jumping off to the side. Yeah. 
you know, in other games, like in, in Tony Hawk or other games like that, where you clearly see a balance bar, you can pretty clearly equate, like, okay, if my balance bar is over on the very left side, I will jump off to the left. Yeah. Whereas here, it seems like sometimes I've been pretty straight, and I've tried to jump straight, and I've jumped to the side. On other times, I've needed to jump to the side, so I've started tilting over that direction quite a bit, and then when I jump, I go straight. So, question, is it like... You're either to the side or straight, or is there some kind of variability in between? I I think it's either, you know, a diagonal jump or a straight jump. Because, yeah, if, if it was, like, relative to how much your angle is, that would be predictable. But if it's, like, from this angle to this angle on your control stick, you're going straight. It, it and feels, from this angle to this angle, you're going to the side. It feels pretty unpredictable. And, yeah. like, the one I just tried is, like, a perfect example of... You know, you're not... You shouldn't jump right at the end, and you also shouldn't... That was wild. You also shouldn't jump straight, so you need to figure out when to jump and what angle to jump at, and that's just trial and error. Yeah, that's trial and error, and it's two different variables you need to be trial and error. Right. So that's not... Right. If it was one thing to to trial and error, just like timing or something... Right. That'd be that'd be fine. Right. I mean, not great, but it'd be fine. But the ability to speed up or slow down, like you saw in... Broken Back Mountain, that very first mountain range, that uh, gap challenge right at the end of it, yeah. you need to speed up on the rail yeah. to, to make it. So they do teach you pretty early on that that is a mechanic, but again, as you say, now that's two variables you have to try and right. work with. And that just makes it too much to me. Yeah, I mean, it'd be fine if it was like predictable, but... Oh my god, yeah, you pulled that out of your ass. Yeah, and then guess what I don't pull out of oh my ass? Oh my god, there's a third. Yeah, yeah, because... Yikes, I didn't even see that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, for some reason, this ridge just launches you. Oh, weird. <laughs> it's it's that ridge. Every time you grind that ridge, you go... Well, the first time when you forward. when you weren't on the in the rail challenge, when you were in the other challenge, when the jump challenge, I think it was, you, you got launched right into a rock and pulled that one out of your ass. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. So yeah, like I like I said in the previous video, game is best when you can just go off sick jumps and flip your way around, and worst when you have to try to be precise, like the rail challenges. Uh, luckily, every uh, range where the requirement is to do a certain amount of rail challenges, there will be enough easy ones that you can just, and should, just go do those. Yeah. Like... Never in a level was I like, okay, I cannot perform the required cha the challenges I'm required to do. And the other thing is, this game doesn't require you to do everything. Right. So. Right. If you, I mean. I mean, if you have to do four rail challenges in a level, you have to do that. But you don't have to do five. Yeah. Or six. Or any beyond that. Do your four, and then just do enough other challenges to complete the... And, you know, X amount of any challenge kind of thing. Right. And then, like I said, pretty much the top half of challenges, I think you're expected to do. The, you know, X amount of specifics, the just X amount of any, the uh, high score challenges, the level specific trick, and maybe the collectibles. Yeah. And so, levels, okay. Yeah. So, rail challenges are the worst. Uh huh. What's second worst? What's third worst? Uh, pickup challenges, I'd say, are second worst. Because you saw, sometimes, it depends on really where you are and the line. Sometimes the pickup challenges are just simple riding. And sometimes they're like, oh shit, it's over there. Like, Yeah, and, and it also depends on the speed you come in at. You yeah. do this, this pickup challenge, it might be like expecting you to be going hella slow. Right. Or it might be expecting you to go like really, really fast. Like again, if you check that first video, that first pickup challenge right at the start of that first mountain range was like the worst because you had yeah. to snake around back and forth and like and they're like they were un behind hills that go you off a see. drop and immediately slow down when the carve button is one of the grab buttons so if you hit it too early you'll start to grab and crash and fail oh my um, god yeah that's that's bad design so that's second worst then you know there's the jump challenges the gap challenges pickups and rails and then it's a pretty good jump up from, like, worst two to the other two. Yeah, the gap and jump challenges are fine. Are fine. Are fine. What are we going to get? Skelet gets an... Oh, new leg. New okay. leg, yeah. New leg. But we got a whole bunch of events and one of everything, basically. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, 
So we're going to go to the Death Valley Cup. And yeehaw. Do you have any more questions on, like, the gauges or... No, I think you pretty well explained it. Um, nobody asked any questions about it in the... In video one. Video one one, so okay. Yeah, yeah, so... Flow, you know, your black gauge goes up before your green one, because your green one's your basically average. Yeah. And then risk is, like, your maximum risk. Like, I don't really see the risk dial going back down much unless I crash a shit ton. In which case, your flow is getting affected, and your time down at the level is getting affected enough to just restart. Yeah. But you do a pretty sick trick, and your risk goes up good. But, yeah, then check the flow gauge. That's actually lagging behind pretty, pretty, pretty big. Yeah. Because I did some kind of slower tricks. I didn't get some perfect landings. I would say it's, it is quite a bit about making sure you can get perfect landings. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of... I'm trying to get a gauge of, like, how good three feet smaller is. <laughs> like... They are so generic sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, they're a power chord pop punk band. Yeah. All right, we race down to the bottom, 113.69, but that was not good enough. It, you know, I'll say that it is very hard to gauge a score relative to how you did. That's true. But the game just appears to arbitrarily do so. But you know what's a trick that I discovered? Huh? If you go backwards, that's pretty risky. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, so, so that'll like, increase your risk gauge. <laughs> so if you're going backwards, um, that's gonna increase your risk gauge because doing tricks while going backwards and landing switch is, even in the main game, better than landing straight. Oh. You know, getting that 2x multiplier rather than a 1.3. I mean, to be fair, this would be incredibly impressive to see in real right. life. Right, right. And I think um, might help your flow meter some, or maybe I just take a better line. I don't know. You'll have to really compare the two runs that I do. But, um, you know, this one I think I just took a smarter line. I, I stayed going at a better speed, so my flow is higher the yeah. end and wow yeah yeah just going backwards the whole time because i think you know you go the same speed roughly yeah roughly and you have the same controls really the only thing that changes is like your front flips and back flips since now if you hold forward on the control stick your guy will flip backwards relative to himself you know? how would you feel if they like did you ever see the game mark of the ninja mm, maybe so, in Mark of the Ninja, uh, they have this really interesting camera system where if your character's facing one way or facing another way, you'll see, like, um, you'll only see, even though it's like a third-person side-scrolling view, you will only see what your ninja conceivably could see. So, if he looks into a room and then looks away, you'll see, like, a grayed-out or, like, a... a um, What's it called? A um, a blurry mm -hmm. version of that room, but you won't see the enemies in it because your character like can't see them right now. Right. But then you look through the window again and you'll see the enemies, you know. So how would you feel if when your character turns around and is doing a thing switch, the f things in front of you were, were blurry or something? Somehow obscured. Awful. That'd be awful. Okay. That'd be terrible. Okay. Never do that. Okay. In an extreme sports game. Yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah. So glad it's not doing that. But I mean, like, that would be realistic. Your character doesn't... Yeah, but I don't want realistic in my extreme sports games. Oh, uh, tell that to the people who make extreme sports games. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. they're just really good for it. <laughs> so anyway, next time we're staying on Mount Blanca and we'll go to the second area, Grizzly Creek. Mmm, grizzle. Yeah, yeah. We're about to get grizzled, you know? Gross. Gr uh, I don't know what grizzled Grizzled, is. chiseled, something like that? I don't know. Okay, well, we'll see you next time.